Yeah, I brought bourbon this time because I need something heavier <laughs> for what it may put us through by the end of all this. I am not you're like you're like you're like after the uh, unwanted anticipation I had today for this meeting and this show. Like we're just I'm going blotto, baby. Right. Down and it's, out. Don't want to remember most of the day and don't want to wake up sick. <laughs> catch you on the end. Catch you on the end of the video. I don't know what's gonna happen in between. <laughs> right. Uh, hey everybody, welcome back to Two Dads React. Uh, Thank you, everybody, who tuned in last week to check out our reaction to the first episode of what is definitely going to wreck our old dad asses uh, if they kill any more kids uh, or just general emotional stuff at all. Um, my name is Clay. That's Corey. If you're subscribed already, thank you. We're glad you're coming back. If you're new, welcome. This is what you're going to get. Uh, we're going to be watching uh, episode two of Last of Us here shortly. Uh, as we said before... I have not played the game, and after last week and kind of watching some of this stuff, I don't think I want to play it till after the show's over, at least after this season's over, because I kind of like, I don't know how much they're going to stick to the script of the show or the of the game, but I'm kind of digging, like, maybe actually being surprised. Like, I knew what was going to happen last week. Like, that's kind of, like, was out there for everybody. And I was like, okay, we can get through this. Now, it's, now I know there's a whole bunch of other crazy emotional stuff we have to go through for the rest of the, at least what the game plot was. So I think I'm going to wait and play the game afterwards. Plus I think you said it's coming out on PC, like what? In a little while. March, it's like I remastered. Think. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I may have to and play that's it what I'm, That's what I'm waiting for. Cause I played it on the PlayStation and like, I'm at the point now where like when the show does stuff that I'm like, Oh yeah, I kind of reckon I, but I don't remember the game. I remember how the game made me feel <laughs> is where I'm left with it, right? You know? And so right. I don't do a whole lot of cross-referencing and anything, but I wouldn't, I, I'd be in the same boat as you. I wouldn't be able to play the game and watch the show all at the same time. Yep. I think I'll just wait, but I'm, so I'm kind of cool. It's kind of cool going into this fresh. Like I'm, I'm, you know, all of us TV and movie consumers, we're, we're used to post-apocalyptic stuff, but this is a, something on another level, I think. So I'm, uh, I'm ready to get to episode two. You ready? Not, I mean, not really, to be honest like, with you. No. Like, I'm not ready for this. It's like the show's super exciting, but it's always... I don't think there's going to be anything else that's quite as gut-wrenching, but it keeps the show, the way it's filmed, keeps me on like a, an internal high-strung alert, and I don't <laughs> like it, you know? <laughs> right, like, last week you said your legs were moving the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> they're just nonchalantly i'm like nah dude i'd be like i'd be looking back going if you want to survive you will keep up with this pace like we are moving <laughs> at this pace right <laughs> yeah yep gotta have cardio cardio's number one rule right yeah it's not cool that, the, that, that, that these ones are like the quote-unquote they're not zombies but you know, for lack of a better term, the zombies in this world are runners. Those are my, those are the ones I fear the worst, like from like 28 days later. And that, so like, I, like I always thought if it's like slow movers, yeah, there's a point where it's really going to suck. And if there's a whole bunch of them, you're in trouble. But like, you can like do a little bit of juking and jiving if there's only a couple. But like, when you have runners, I'm done. Like my fat ass is Especially done. Especially ones like these that were just no concern. Like, I'm, I know... <laughs> no concern for their body. I know zombies are already dead, but even then, like you have some that will sprint and jump and hop over the fence. And then you have others like these guys would just go straight through the fence, through the wall, through the countertop, you know, they're just, mm -hmm. it didn't matter. And then they just fix themselves. That's, you know, I you know other zombies just, you know, if they fall like that, like they're, then they're stuck like in, in a certain way. Like right? these guys are like, nah, I'm just going to put that back and we're, we're on our way. So is that so? Is that from the game? Is that something you or you did pick that up from? Like, because I saw the old lady last last episode in the, in the first episode. Like, as she was chugging after her out the door, like as she left the threshold, she was like ah, and like did this thing where she fell over. And we were like, you know, they didn't really go into what happened, but I'm assuming what you said, like something in the the old lady broke, and then like the stuff fixed it or made it so she didn't feel it or something. Yeah, that's yeah. It's just like they're legit puppets that just are like weird. We'll stick it back, you know. Like you <laughs> it's sock fine. at their arm, and they're like, "We're good," you know, no big deal. Yeah. Just rub some dirt on it. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, uh, let's let's get an episode two. <laughs> oh, 
Why you snitch on the old lady? I was just thinking how annoyed I'd be by someone interrupting probably like what would be my last meal. <laughs> like <laughs> good meal in a restaurant. Yeah, good meal, right? <laughs> right? Professor Mycology, Universitas yep. Indonesia. They don't care. They're not arresting you, baby. We are here for your degree, ma'am. She's like... I am in sensible heels. Slow down. Yeah, those dudes are hauling ass. Ibu mungkin mendapat berat yang saya butuhkan. Just like, mm -mm, let her see. I'm gonna guess right now. This is what you don't want a scientist to see: true horror when they look through a microscope. You know what I mean? You want to talk about some like end of days shit? Bisa bertahan pada manusia. They used to, used to not be able to. <laughs> well, we'll see how good my editing is on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too busy waiting for this thing to start moving. Mm-hmm. Oh no. <laughs> I know what you're waiting for and I do this. <laughs> See that's what I'm talking about. When a scientist does that. That is way scarier than any somebody watching a nuke launch, somebody doing, you know, anything militarily. Nope. When a scientist looks like that, just count me out, man. Lalu bagaimana dengan orang yang digigitnya? Dibawa untuk observasi. And also shot. Kemudian telah menjadi keharusan sesuai dengan prosedur. Mereka harus tetap di asal. Yeah, well, I wish I was I wish I had made the joke now. <laughs> that is the fear of math. Yeah, I was about to say doing some quick calculations right there. Well, bom seluruh kota dan seluruh orang yang ada. Holy shit! Who? Well, let's just add a little bit more of this to the old camping. I'm just going to go ahead and do this because. Feel feeling. Yep. <laughs> wow. I would love to have like a score to my name. Like, yeah, I was a guy that invented that fucking show that, you know, theme song for that show you used to watch all the goddamn time. Mm -hmm. That was me. Just once. That's it. I don't need it anymore after that. Just one time. <laughs> It's not getting any worse, is it? That's right, guys. Gaze on something you've never seen before, which is true. There's not going to be anything bad in here? Just you. Oh, funny. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, come on, Joel. Yeah, you could have done better than punch a guy with a mask with a helmet on. Also, punching all those teeth and bone didn't help either. I was going to say, dude, that guy's face mask was gone. It was all the bone that he was rearranging in the dude's head. If we don't know what we have, so answer my question. 
how hard is it to figure out that she hasn't changed the normal time frame of everybody else and that the whole point of her being important is that she's going to be a cure? If she so much as twitches, <laughs> don't. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. There's a certain time and place for jokes like that. This is not one of them. I think at that point, dude, you make any joke you can. <laughs> like, break that tension somehow. <laughs> can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. Can we just wait and appreciate the framing of, like, that, like, beautiful, like, grassy, mossy area that she was laying in the sunlight and everyone else being in darkness? Like, all the whatever they want to, like, you know, foreshadow with that. <laughs> We should get moving. Ever been to Boston? No, I have not. Only been once. It was all of like four hours. It's like a pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> or ones with split open heads that stay in the dark like bats? I'm assuming that's <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> oh man Corey our fear of open water is a well documented thing on this channel but also my fear of water in places it shouldn't be <laughs> uh, yeah and also water I can't see in correct I cannot see the bottom of or what is swimming around inside of it smart ass I mean to know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I'm with you, girl. This is so gross. Oh, check it out. No, no, don't check it out. <sighs> don't ring the <gasps> bell. Oh, my God. Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. You're I'm a weird kid. You're a weird kid. Oh, oh shit, okay. Yep. Hey, man, I saw a full body jump out of you right there. That was great. Come on, it wasn't that bad. You try climbing ten fucking floors with our knees. See how you feel. <laughs> I feel it. I know what she's talking about. So it'd be easier for me to get through. Mm -hmm. But you die and you get nothing. You stay. <laughs> Good point. What now? Sounds like it's a see it for yourself moment. And I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Okay, well now. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. Okay, well that's terrifying. So sunlight bothers them too? Is that what I was seeing passing over that crowd and they were all rolling over and bitching when the sun hit them? I'm assuming mushrooms like damp, cool places. Marlene packing one of these or just sandwiches? Yeah. It's like, don't be jealous of my chicken. I have a spare hand. Congratulations. <laughs> He's like, I'm not giving you a gun. <laughs> <laughs> See, dude. <laughs> The minute I go in there and I hear something scurrying around in another room, I'm not going back in there. <laughs> yeah, but you got to imagine if you survived 20 years in this, you're, you're, we're not our, we're not our like skittish we're selves. Not who, we're not who the who YouTube sees. We are hardened individuals at that point, or we're dead. One of the two. Most likely the latter. Just gonna put that out there. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm totally fine. Quiet. Silent. Well, no 
question. <laughs> no, no fucking time for a dissertation on this. Oh boy. Well, you're not you're not doing too well on the silent part, gentlemen. <laughs> It would be fucking wooden steps. <laughs> Is that all bodies? Gnarly. Mm -hmm. Gnarly. <sighs> yeah, this is that get behind this part. So many breakable things around a teenager. <laughs> Gut shot? Oh, there's more. Why are you getting so close, cameraman? I'm trying to keep an eye on that fucking monster. <laughs> Yo, bravo, makeup crew. Bravo. That is a sick looking thing right there. Oh, no. Like, I cannot tell what kills. It's not like a normal zombie, like a normal headshot. I mean, is it? Ugh. More like enough damage caused, because... You all right? Well, I didn't shit my pants, so... <laughs> Don't worry, I did. You're fine. I mean, if it was going to happen to one of us. She's not wrong. Put this around your arm. Thanks. If folks have not watched Fringe, you have not witnessed how awesome Anna Torv is in any role she plays, which is, she is awesome. Hmm. Oh. She is not doing well. That ankle is not going to hold up. I feel like my face is permanently stuck on like sad, confused. Just like, <laughs> oh, like when's it gonna happen, man? Like I'm stuck in a permanent state of like suspense. Show me. They all know now. Mm hmm. Mm. <gasps> Holy shit. Just for your records, <laughs> the closed caption said distance, darling. I would like to put out there that there is. <laughs> it was a lot closer than distant. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not leaving her. Get up! Oh, honey. Let's... Let's take this time to reiterate if you have not watched Fringe, this is where you can see a ton more of Anna Torv and her fabulous acting. Because it looks like we're about to see the, the end of it for this series. Yo. No offense, you're standing in a room full of grenades. Like, I would just pick one of them up, pull the pin. Oh, 
Oh, please light lighter, for Christ's sake. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Wow. Bravo. Mm. That was gross. Yeah, that was disgusting. <laughs> like, you gotta shake, you gotta get it out, you know? Like... <laughs> yep, that's a hell of a sigh right there. Hey, man. It's a day. Ah. Oh, man. I can't wait to go back to playing Legos. <laughs> You're like, I have so many fun things I can do now to up beat this. <laughs> right? I need like a whatever the opposite chemical is of, that's flooding my body right now. <laughs> I don't know which one it is, but I need it. Right? Adrenaline, fear, something that is just coursing oh, through me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, a great second episode. Just and we, I mean, at some point we knew it's the two of them meeting a whole bunch of people, I guess. So it's you know, along their journey, and yes, she's real, and now he's gonna, you know, take her to wherever you know might be out west. It's always that way in zombie shows, though, where it's like, yeah, I heard about Alaska or this one place that doesn't have any infected. It's that, it's that hope, whether it be real or fake, that sometimes. You know, that's what folks are driving towards. They got to have some sort of goal as opposed to just existing in the whatever you want to call that world is right now. Yeah, it'd make for a pretty boring show. <laughs> just existing in the apocalypse. Just existing in the apocalypse. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I'm just trying not to get do anything that's going to get me hurt. So I'm just going to do my day to day stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, anybody, everybody who stayed here to the end, thank you. We appreciate everybody who watches this. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing or dropping a like or all that good stuff. It helps the channel. And um, we'll be back next week for episode three. Yeah, that's right. I was about to say we have more Willow. No, we don't. No more Willow. We, don't. we dropped. We did drop our finale, epi finale reaction to Willow. So if you haven't watched Willow, pick it up because that show is fantastic. Uh, not enough folks are watching it. The you know the the, the the tell of the town is that it may or may not get a season two. It's on a bubble right now for Disney. Ron Howard wants it to have a season two, of course, but we shall see. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next week.